Welcome to the Bluecoat computer-based training module, the Bluecoat Web Application Firewall solution. A Web Application Firewall, or WAF, is capable of both securing and accelerating web applications for optimal productivity. This course covers the following topics. The benefits and features provided by the Bluecoat WAF solution as implemented on the Proxy SG platform. The data workflow and topology of the solution and how some of the key features function to provide a complete WAF solution. The comprehensive Bluecoat WAF solution has evolved from the reverse proxy solution that has been part of Bluecoat's security portfolio since the founding of the company in 1996. The most important features of the WAF solution are application protection, which includes detecting and blocking malicious user-submitted content, enforcing authentication and authorization policies using enterprise directory and authentication services, SSL TLS inspection, detecting and blocking attacks using next-generation advanced WAF engines, mitigating DOS attacks, and geolocation support. Application optimization, including server SSL offloading and object caching, HTTP compression, URL rewriting, and server load balancing. Key advantages of the Bluecoat WAF solution include flexible deployment options, granular policy-based access logging, a powerful policy framework, full IPv6 support, layer 3 through layer 7, central management and reporting, supporting role-based access control, multi-tenancy, and multi-environments, and integration with the full Bluecoat ecosystem, including the content analysis system, the malware analysis appliance, the security analytics platform, data loss prevention, and the global intelligence network. To take advantage of the full capabilities of the Bluecoat WAF solution, the following components are deployed. The Bluecoat Proxy SG appliance running SGOS 6.6.3 or later, Bluecoat Management Center version 1.5 or later, a subscription to Bluecoat's web application protections that provides the threat signature intelligence used by signature-based detection engines. This service also provides GeoIP intelligence. Bluecoat's global intelligence network drives this intelligence into every Bluecoat solution. And Bluecoat Reporter version 10.1.3 or later. Now we'll look at the actual data and workflow through the Proxy SG to see how it integrates with the rest of the Bluecoat portfolio. First, a user requests a URL. Next, depending on policy, the Proxy SG can check to see whether the user is authenticated and authorized to access the resource. Now the Global Intelligence Network comes into play. The Proxy SG checks the geolocation of the client via geolocation IP database lookup. ProxySG is looking for attacks targeting the application running on the server using new advanced engines as well as signature-based engines. If traffic is SSL encrypted, the ProxySG can decrypt it and also send a clear text copy of the request to the security analytics platform using the encrypted tap feature. The next step, if the user tries to upload content, the file can be sent to the content analysis system for malware scanning. Unrecognized or suspicious files can be sent to the Malware Analysis Appliance for deeper analysis via sandboxing. Finally, we reach out to the server and receive content that again could be sent if needed to the Security Analytics Platform using encrypted TAP. DLP can also be integrated. From the web server, downloaded files data can be sent to the DLP system using ICAP to scan for confidential data leaving the network. Now the content is served to the client. Access log data can be uploaded to Bluecoat Reporter. If files were sent to the Malware Analysis Appliance, it provides the results of its analysis to the Content Analysis System, and if the file was malicious, subsequent requests will be blocked. Scanning results can also be sent to the Global Intelligence Network. In a typical WAF deployment, the proxy SGs are deployed in a DMZ front-ending a web server farm, and depending on scalability and throughput, 
you might use a load balancer in front of the proxy SGs. Also, depending on network requirements, a load balancer may be deployed on the back end as well. The Content Analysis System and Malware Analysis Appliance can be integrated via ICAP. Other components include an admin workstation, Blue Coat Management Center, a user directory such as Microsoft Active Directory, and Reporter. The full WAF solution consists of Proxy SG Management Center and Reporter. Because of the many security challenges to traditional reverse proxy solutions, Bluecoat has developed what we call advanced detection engines that do not rely on specific attack signatures and regular expression matching. The new advanced engines are complemented by several traditional signature-based engines to provide comprehensive protection against both known and unknown exploits. With our CPL framework, we can offer advanced policies in addition to the provided engines and capabilities. For example, you could write policy to enable content security policy, which is delivered by the browser in a header field and executed by the client. Also, HTTP strict transport security and HTTP public key pinning are also relatively new methods that can be delivered to the client as a header field. It's very easy to introduce these new functionalities with the proxy SG just by writing a few lines of CPL. In addition, we can replace server error messages with our own custom error messages if desired. Finally, with multi-tenancy support, we can deliver per-web application control. The WAF advanced engines do not use specific attack signatures and regular expression matching. The advanced engines perform lexical analysis and parsing of request content to perform content nature detection. For example, the code injection engine works similarly to a compiler that looks at the constructs presented to determine whether there is a valid set of functionality. The engines contain language grammar and fingerprints that require infrequent updates compared with attack signatures. The architecture reduces false positives and ongoing maintenance, increases breadth of coverage and performance, and also protects against unknown attacks because it relies on content nature detection rather than specific attack signatures. As mentioned, we do still have signature-based detection engines. A blacklist is a database of attack signatures, which is good for well-known attack patterns. The analytics filter is similar, but is a more intelligent way of using regular expressions. In this case, we're looking for multiple indicators of malicious activity. These indicators have a weight, and we add them up to a sum that, when it reaches a certain threshold, the action is considered a threat that should be blocked. This allows smarter fine-tuning of the policies by Bluecoat than can be provided by simple blacklisting. We provide three different WAF policy actions. Block. If a rule matches, we block the transaction and log the data. Monitor. We run the traffic through the engines and generate log data, but we don't block the transaction. This allows you to analyze the logs, detect any issues, and fine-tune the policies. And ignore. The transaction completely bypasses the policy that it is configured to ignore. The effective date feature available in SGOS 6.6.3 is related to the signature-based engines. All of our signatures have an activation date, which you can use to write policy. For example, you could run all signatures from December 1, 2015 in block mode. If we released an update January 1, 2016, then you could run all the newer signatures in monitor mode, which would allow you to test new policies and signatures to identify false positives and to fine-tune policies before turning on policy enforcement, application by application, if you want to. SGOS 6.6 .6 introduces new multi-tenancy capabilities that allow administrators to group applications together and to specify unique security settings without impacting other applications. Also, Management Center provides comprehensive role-based access control. We can now also support global as well as local application-specific policies. For example, you could assign global policies to a network security team that is mainly concerned with application-independent policies, and you could assign the applications or tenants 
to the application owners so they can manage specific policies only for specific applications that they own. Highlights of the Bluecoat WAF solution, starting from SUS 6.6.3, are as follows. Advanced engines represent the new generation of content nature detection WAF technology. Multi-tenancy allows WAF administrators to manage and protect thousands of web applications based on their unique requirements. Effective date ensures that updates do not break production traffic while allowing production WAFs to take advantage of the latest threat intelligence. These flexible tools combine to allow administrators to solve difficult large-scale enterprise protection challenges. Thank you for watching. This concludes the computer-based training, the Bluecoat Web Application Firewall Solution. For more information, visit the following Bluecoat resources. The Knowledge Base, available at bto.bluecoat.com, and the ProxySG Discussion Forums, available at forums.bluecoat.com. For additional questions or comments regarding this training module, contact us at training.books at bluecoat.com.